Hey guys and welcome to the first video I'm putting on this channel and what this channel is going to be about is everything gaming from let's plays to walkthroughs to how to's and today a top five and it's my top five video games of all time and I have played video games for such a long time and I've played since like Game Boy Advance and that's pretty far back considering how young I am but this is my top five and I hope you guys enjoy at my number five is the Star Wars Battlefront series and I love this series so much I have played uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 Elite Squadron and the new EA Star Wars Battlefront and I love all three of them and the, I don't have a favorite out of the three is why I put it all in one but they're all such great games and it's because I love the Star Wars films and it puts you in that perfect position as a soldier and everything and that is my number five at number four I have the Epic Mickey series now this is one that hardly anybody would put in their top five but I loved this series so much because I had a, I have a strong tie with Disney stuff and Disneyland and Disney World. And this was an awesome game because you got to play through this place called Wasteland. And it's sort of like a messed up dark version of Disneyland. And it's really cool to have all these characters that have been forgotten. And it's one of my favorite games. It's probably not hardly anyone else's because this game really didn't do good. But I loved having the choice to be do the good thing or do the bad thing. And it changed your whole story completely. So that is my number four. At my number three is Super Mario Sunshine. Now... This is probably the oldest game I remember playing. I don't remember playing a game before this because this was my first console I got. First I got the um, Game Boy Advance and then I got the GameCube and this was my first game on the GameCube and my first console game and the first game I remember. And this is one of and still is my favorite game of all time. This game is so awesome, and I wish they made more sequels to this, because this was such a good game, but it does, as far as Mario games, this was pretty bad, as Mario games go, but this was game was released on August 26, 2002, so that's pretty far back dating yourself, because a lot of people watching this video probably weren't even born by then, and... I just love this game so much. I love the resort style of the game. And it all just felt so good. So that is my number three. At my number two is the NBA 2K series. Now this is an interesting one. Because this is kind of the thing that had me interested in basketball. Because I never really liked basketball or any sports that much. But then I played this game and I loved basketball from then on. I watched so much basketball and I try to get everything I know about basketball. More information every single day. Watching it, whether it's WNBA, college, or professional. And what really got me started on this game was I started with NBA 2K12. And I didn't really like the games that much until um, 2K13's My Career. This is where I really started to like this game. And I've gotten every single game from 2K12 all the way up to 16. And pretty soon I'll have 17. Got it pre-ordered already and ready to get it. But I sort of switched from playing this My Career and having my own story to playing my team because I got into that card collecting and the my team was so much funner and I still play to this day 
there's not a week that goes by that I do not stick this in my PlayStation 4 and play it. So that is my number two. And then finally, at my number one, Minecraft. Now, a ton of you are shaking your head right now. So many people hate this game. But this is my game that got me into gaming a full-time thing. And this is how it kind of started. This was back when I was in 6th grade. And I was in band class, and these guys were talking about Minecraft, and I had no clue what it was. They were talking about skeletons and all this stuff. I had no idea what it was. I went home, searched it on my phone, got the Pocket Edition. I think this was back in late 2011, early 2012, I think. And I got hooked from there. I played all the Pocket Edition. I went and got Xbox 360 version and um, PC version. I played all those like crazy, watched all these videos, um, got all this merchandise with Minecraft. I was just so obsessed with it. And this really has a special place in my heart just because this is the game that made me really want to keep playing games because I was at this point where I was like well I don't really like games that much I played every now and then but then I got Minecraft and I was hooked on this game I played games all the time no matter what device it was then I started getting all these other games the NBA 2K's and all these other games I like, I probably would not even have a PlayStation 4 right now. If it wasn't for Minecraft, I would still have a Xbox 360 because I would have seen no point in getting a new console because if it wasn't for Minecraft, I wouldn't have played NBA 2K. And NBA 2K is what made me want to get the PlayStation 4 because of the next-gen version. And then I started playing the next gen Minecraft version and all this and I'm getting way too into this. But Minecraft is one of the best games of all time. And no matter who you are, you have to respect the imagination that went to this. You can do anything in this game. Anything you want to build or destroy, you can do it. And that's why so many people love this game is the creativity that goes into it. And... That is my top five. So I would like to know what your top five is. You can leave that in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button. And that's going to be it. Let me know what other videos you would like to see on this channel. I'll be doing some Battlefront pretty soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you later.